Our schools only a week into the new school year at New York City Public Schools and efforts to stop the spread are already facing obstacles. And this weekend, the United Federation of Teachers calling on the city to do more. And News 12's Greg Thompson joining us with those details. We've all seen the pictures and videos of the packed hallways at schools around the city. Now the news that PS 79 in Harlem already has to go fully remote with nearly two dozen positive COVID cases reported in just the first week. According to data from the Department of Education, aside from that one school, 675 either fully or partial public classroom closures are currently in effect with over 800 combined students and staff testing positive. But the United Federation of Teachers is pointing out that the actual number of cases and classrooms that should be closed is probably Probably much higher than that. The DOE reporting that they haven't even done testing in half of their schools and sites. And because testing is only done bi-weekly, hundreds of schools won't even be tested until this coming week. The combination of limited testing and positive cases so far causing UFT President Michael Mulgrew to send a letter to Mayor de Blasio and Schools Chancellor Misha Ross Porter, among others this morning, demanding testing be done every week. Writing in part, I'm concerned that this year's reduced frequency of COVID testing means that thousands of children will spend days in classrooms without the early warning system that last year made our schools among the safest places in the community. So we asked Bronxites who have family members in public schools if they think there needs to be more frequent testing. I think the more they do it, the safer it will be and it will give a peace of mind for us parents to send our kids, to, um, our kids to school. No, 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 leave them alone. I understand the children are dying because of that, it's sad, but you know, you have to take care of your kids better. Take care of yourself better. COVID testing had been happening on a weekly basis for all in-person students and staff in public schools last year. They moved to the bi-weekly plan for the start of this year. Greg Thompson, News 12.